Hey guys, Chris here for GQ37, and this is Project 350Z. I recently picked up an enthusiast model 2006 RevUp 6-speed manual Z in very hurt condition. It's been neglected, it needs a lot. Mainly on the outside, but I'm going to be starting on the inside, moving outward, and yeah, I'll address that bumper as well. Really excited about this project. I'll be doing some videos and showing what I'm doing as I do it in hopes that it's helpful to somebody out there that's restoring or fixing some issues in their Z as well. So buckle up and join me for some more videos starting right now. What's up guys? Just picked up the Z. So excited about it. It looks awesome. Wearing my orange shirt. I got my orange ring on. Uh, we uh, we matching, but man, this thing looks awesome. I was so excited when he said it was ready. I just, I left work at the hospital early uh, and um, I, I came I came straight to get, I forgot even my uh, camera mount for the car. So I'm just sitting here at a, at a, a stop sign. Uh, intersection um, to, to even tell you this, but it looks amazing. Oh, loving it. I love this weight dash I had done. Even this big shift knob, this weighted shift knob, as big as it is, it, uh, it feels really good. It shifts smooth. But check out that color. And that color. Yep. Oh, man. So excited. It looks so good. It's so neat to see that pop of orange from within the side of the car. Uh, really, really excited. Really excited about it, y'all. Gary did an amazing job. It looks like a totally different vehicle. I cannot say how excited I am. Love the color, it is so bright. I know this video is not gonna do it justice, but uh, it looks it looks amazing out in the sun. And that's the cool thing about shades like this is different times of day when the sun hits it a different way, it kind of looks like a different color. Um, but uh, it came out. It came out great. Uh, here's the new headlights. The 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 depots I put in. I went ahead and switched over my last fit LED bulbs in there while it was in the shop, and the bumper was off. We went with black emblems. Um, had them paint this front uh, black. We did it flat to match this, but I'm probably gonna put a piece of gloss black vinyl across the bottom part because uh, I'm going to wrap the roof gloss black, and probably gonna do the carbon fiber mirror caps. To come and so that way a little bit of gloss there will tie that in and also it'll protect this from rock chips so gonna do that there's lots of other things I, I uh, plan to do I'm gonna be painting the wheels black probably in a week or so I'm gonna sand those down and paint them and uh, paint the calipers while I'm at it I do plan on getting different wheels I want to go with 19s that's what I had on my last Z but uh, I'm just gonna wait to find exactly what I want and since these have brand new tires on them I'm gonna go ahead and, and use those and uh, make these look a little bit better I replaced the door handles while we were at it and I uh, had those painted body color just because I think it looks better personally uh, since I'm not going to have any other silver on the outside of the car soon. Um, I got the black door handles off of uh, um, Amazon. I'll put a link in the description and because uh, they were easier to paint than the, the factory ones that had that um, metallic like uh, aluminum stuff on it. So uh, anyway, came out great. So, so ecstatic. I'll be uh switching these exhaust tips soon too because they just stick out too much but but uh man <laughs> it looks like a totally different car i am not embarrassed to drive it anymore so excited about it well worth the money i'm glad i found somebody that did such an amazing job at such a good price also i uh i put these drls in while i was uh while the bumper was off so here those are. I don't know how well the camera is going to pick it up. They're very bright even during the daytime um, forward looking. So that gave it a little bit more modern look. I like the, the new Nismos and the new 370s that have those. I really like that. I'll, um, I did somewhat of a video of the, of the install. I'll put that in a separate video for anybody interested in that. It was, it was real easy. Um, it's just uh, it, it was at his shop where the bumper was off. It was hot, there was fans on, so I wasn't really able to do a, a true uh, tutorial on it, but I did show my wiring, so I will post that in a separate video uh, to come and, uh, and whatnot. But uh, all in all, it looks great so much. I mean, you remember the hole that was in the bumper here? Uh, that's all gone. There is some, you know, fitment 
uh, this this side's a little looser than the other side. That's just how the bumper was from getting whacked. This side fits a lot tighter, but that's the way it. That's just the way it is. It's. Uh, I'm not complaining about that. I mean, this is a 2006. I'm not trying to make it a show car. Uh, I just wanted it to look a lot better than it did, and mission accomplished there, I think. So uh, that's that's the reveal here, guys. Lots more work to come. Again, we'll be painting the wheels, be painting the calipers. Um, I also have these uh, rear um, mud flaps, canards, whatever you want to call them. I have them over here. He didn't have any more adhesive promoter uh, to put on before the 3M tape. Um, so I've got to get some of that and then I'll put these on sometime, but uh, they are, are at least painted and uh, You know, they'll go on like so and uh, and then after I do that I'm probably gonna do some carbon fiber maybe diffuser back here vinyl or something um, To tie in with that across the bottom. We'll see that's little stuff thinking about carbon fiber wrapping the uh, the spoiler as well because um, this and this was already like this he worked on it quite a bit and it didn't and it feels smooth to the touch but there's a little bit of a divot here where the screw came in too too much from the bottom um, on the, uh, the the spoiler before he painted it like you don't really feel much anything there but you can still see it so I'm probably gonna carbon fiber wrap this spoiler actually to tie in some of the black accents that I'm gonna do with the roof and everything um, but we'll put those on I've also got the eyelids coming. Um, he's going to paint those. He actually had them but kind of forgot. So he's going to paint those later this week and then I'll stick those on there. Um, that'll make it look a lot more aggressive as well. But uh, there she is, guys. Lots more videos to come now that I got it back. I still have a lot of things to do. So uh, definitely smash that like button, subscribe so you get notified uh, when I've got more videos coming. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.